Hi, I'm Norm Hill, author of Winner and Final Chairman. Today I want to talk about the country of Switzerland. Switzerland was a European Union long before there was an EU. Germans, French, and Italians have lived together in Switzerland in peace for hundreds of years. Likewise, Protestants and Catholics have lived together and prospered in the country. Our group of international food, wine, and travel writer associates toured the country recently. We knew that the Alps were closely associated with Switzerland, known for its rugged peaks and its skiing, but we discovered that the rest of the country is at a quite a lower level and suited for agriculture and other pursuits. Switzerland does have substantial industry, including high-tech, pharmaceutical, and banking. Nestle's, the chocolate maker, is headquartered there. A substantial number of people get employment from tourism. The Swiss railway system is very efficient and extensive, and it got us all over the country with ease. A key part of the Swiss historical and political tradition is its official neutrality. This let the Swiss remain neutral during both world wars and also the Cold War, and they emerged from all of them without any damage. Today, this neutrality is tied to the Swiss banking tradition, which is used today by a variety of people around the world. The town of Appenzell is in the eastern part of Switzerland. German tourists come there regularly, but American tourists have been rare. Our group stayed at the Hof Wiesbad Hotel outside of Appenzell, noted for spas, thermal facilities, and also rehabilitative uh, aids. In the town of Appenzell, a local musician trained our group in Swiss yodeling, and he let us yodel in the public square. In a bus tour, we saw cow parades. During the spring, Swiss cows usually go to higher pastures, and in the fall, right before the snow falls, they come down again. The days of coming down from farmer to farmer vary, but the cows that we observed from our bus were all clean with bells, and the farmers were decked out in traditional Appenzell clothing. The second part of our tour was to the better known part of the country, including the town of Yverdon. We toured Yverdon in a solar boat. Yverdon is also noted for spas uh, in this French part of Switzerland. One day we went by train to Chabray. We took a walk through wine country. There the vines are very tight on hillsides. As always, vine makers take substantial care against predator insects and birds. In Lausanne, a local chocolate maker the Durig chocolatier showed us his knowledge, which has been passed down from father to son. He let us complete some chocolate coins. The food varieties we enjoyed in Switzerland are too numerous to mention, but they included fish, venison, bratwurst. As always, we had cheese, local cheeses from various regions. Once we had fondue as well. We could write no end of articles about Switzerland, and our trip showed us just how much we would enjoy returning to explore its different cantons and regions. Well, I enjoy talking with you, and if you want more information, look up my website, www.booksbyhills.com.